Angular and AngularJS are open source web application frameworks led by Angular team at Google. Although they seem like they are the same, both are completely different frameworks. To know more about it, let's dive into today's session. Before we go ahead, we shall look into today's agenda. Firstly, we are going to start off with going around history of Angular versions, and then we'll learn about AngularJS and Angular. Next, we'll see the differentiating factors of both. Moving on, we'll look into the advantages and disadvantages of them. And finally, we'll conclude the session by discussing the better version and understanding why. But before we go ahead, if you like our video, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to never miss an update from the Edureka YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking for an online training certification, do check out the link given in the description box below. Now, going back to the history of Angular versions, the first ever version of Angular was called AngularJS. Now, again, it was developed by Google in the year 2010. I may also add here, Google is the official developer of Angular, developing all upcoming versions. Soon, Angular got its popularity as the static HTML pages could be turned into interactive using AngularJS. This again obviously came with a lot of drawbacks and here Angular 2 succeeded the AngularJS version. Again, since JavaScript version had a lot of pitfalls, a TypeScript based version was introduced. This was the latest version of Angular version. With this, the versions just kept upgrading. The latest version being Angular 12, Angular 4 is the most popular one. Now looking at some of the statistics, According to a survey held in 2018, Angular is the second most frequently used technology in the frameworks, libraries, and other technologies. When I mean Angular, it includes both AngularJS and Angular. Another survey told that about 36.9% of the engineers accepted using AngularJS or Angular 2 version to create impressive user interfaces. Now talking about the future releases of Angular, since the version 9 of Angular, the team has moved all new applications to use the IV compiler and runtime. Each version is said to be backward compatible. Now it's also said that official developing company has owed to release two upgrades per year. Now since AngularJS is the first version, let's get to know more about it. AngularJS is a toolset for building the framework which is most suited to your application development. It is basically a JavaScript based open source front end web framework that will help you to develop single page application. So this will help you create an environment with features like extraordinary expressive, readable and quick to develop for applications that you want to build. So initially, HTML is great for declaring static documents, but it falters when you try to use it for declaring dynamic views in web application. Now, this is where AngularJS lets you extend HTML vocabulary for your applications. Now, here you can see JavaScript based files to develop an application using AngularJS. As you may already know, the JavaScript is basically a text-based programming language used both on client-side and server-side which will allow you to make web applications interactive. Now moving on, we have some of the features of AngularJS. Now along with the features mentioned here, they also have features like dependency injection, increased productivity, along with some negative features like not browser-specific. Now speaking of more upgraded version of Angular, as you already know by now, Angular is an application design framework and development platform for creating efficient and sophisticated single page applications. Now Angular is basically a TypeScript based open source web application framework. Here, I may also add that it is a completely rewritten framework that is taken from the same team that built AngularJS. Now, Angular is a platform that includes many features like component based framework, which helps you in building scalable web applications. And then we have collection of well integrated libraries. Now also suite of developer tools to help you develop, build, test 
and even upgrade your code. Now here you can see TypeScript based files that's been used to develop an application using Angular. So TypeScript is a programming language developed for large application that transcompiles to JavaScript. Now speaking of features of Angular, apart from the ones you see here on the screen, there are many others such as it lets maximum number of users. It's very simple and expressive data binding and it has fastest loading capacity. Now let's look at the factors that differentiate Angular JS from Angular. Firstly, you have architecture. Now Angular JS supports model view control architecture. The business logic goes in the model, the desired output goes into the controller and the Angular handles rest of the processing. Angular JS generates the model pipelines automatically. On the contrary, Angular's building blocks are components and derivatives that follow a preset template. They give applications a modern framework, making it easier to design and maintain large applications. Now here in Angular, they use view, view model, model kind of architecture. You may call it as MVVM. Secondly, we have language differentiating the both. As we've already come across by now, the Angular JS uses JavaScript and Angular uses TypeScript. Next, we have dependency injection. In JavaScript based Angular dependency injection, it occurs via various link functions, controller functions, and derivative definitions. Angular, on the other hand, uses declaration, constructor functions, and provides a hierarchical dependency injection architecture. Now we have Angular CLI or your command line interface, which is used for generating components, services, etc., and even complete projects quickly and efficiently. I may mention here that Angular JS does not use command line interface while Angular uses command line interface. Now, speaking of expression syntax wise, syntax is the set of rules by which the words and symbols and expressions are currently combined. Angular is more intuitive in that regard, while Angular JS is not. Now, speaking of performance wise, Angular is much faster than Angular JS. Two way binding is something which was made originally for Angular JS and it keeps checking each scoped variable with its previous value using digest cycle. In contrast, Angular has a flux architecture where change detection is done through unidirectional data flow, making the application much faster. Now, speaking on compatibility wise, Angular JS does not provide mobile development, but Angular does, and hence it is mobile compatible. Now, let's dive into the advantages and disadvantages of Angular JS. JavaScript is much easier and faster to learn, and hence Angular JS became easier. But on the contrary, if the application has JavaScript disabled, the application will not run on it. Next, speaking of MVC architecture, the MVC architecture of Angular JS separates data from design, but the con is that the developers must be familiar with MVC architecture to use Angular JS. Some more advantages are added to Angular JS, like it supports faster coding and prototyping, decreasing development times immensely. Clean and organized coding makes Angular JS codes highly reusable. Two way data binding facilitates faster and easier data binding. Now, taking a look at perks and cons of Angular, the components of an Angular application are quite independent and self sufficient, which makes them reusable and test friendly. But TypeScript is hard for everyone to learn and many developers are not compatible with statistically typed languages. Speaking of perks, the independent components are easier to replace, maintain, and scale up. Again, with that, command line interface of Angular is an incomplete document. Angular is at least five times faster than AngularJS due to a much better algorithm for data binding and a component-based architecture. 
Now these features may make highly syncable client side and server side of content while the con is that components are managed in very complex way. Now again, as mentioned earlier, it is highly browser and mobile compatible, but CLI documentation is not complete, which will make it harder for developer to use Angular. Now finally, let's understand the latest and better version and why is it so? If you have a fairly simple and straightforward application to develop, AngularJS can make development faster, easier, it surely helps in speeding up your applications, responsive web applications with highly responsive designs. Angular, on the other hand, provides the best alternative for building large and complex applications. TypeScript improved the maintainability of code as well as overall performance of Angular. Applications using Angular are more scalable. As you can see here in the picture, AngularJS will help you in increasing the speed while Angular will help you in increasing the scalability. Now finally to conclude, it's pretty evident that Google chose to shift TypeScript which helped in increase overall performance of application and hence TypeScript based Angular framework is better in the enterprise level making it more demandable. This brings us to the end of today's session. I hope now you have better understanding of differences of Angular versions, making you approach the framework in a better way. I hope today's session was helpful. Until we meet again next time, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!